My name is Lenny Smith. I'm a singer, songwriter, and this is my testimony. It was 2018, summertime, and we were having a major worship conference at our church. And I was up singing and ministering, and this is one of those times where everybody from all over is coming to church for worship. And you know, I was up and I was singing and um, I was really into the song, like so, so deep into the song that I didn't even realize someone was calling me. Um, so they eventually had to run over to me and just talk to me real quick and whisper into my ear while I was singing, hey, you have an emergency. You need to leave right now. Your house is on fire. In that moment, my heart sunk. I felt helpless. I felt a whole lot of emotions all at once. They just came rushing at me. And I kind of almost didn't believe it was happening. Uh, I kind of thought it was a joke. I thought, you know, maybe they just wanted me to just get off the stage. But um, it was real. It was happening. Um, based on the face my uh, sister had and um, the concern that was just on my mother and uh, my other family members that were around, we knew that this thing was real. Um, so I you know, rushed home as fast as I could. I lived like maybe 15 minutes from um, the church, about 20 minutes from the church. And I probably made it home in like about 15 because there was no way that this was happening. So literally as I drove up to the block, I couldn't even get to my house because the uh, ambulance, the uh, fire trucks, they were all blocking off the, the, the block. They were all blocking off the whole road. And the first person I see is my uncle and he grabs me. He said, man, I'm so sorry. And I could smell smoke. I could smell um, so much smoke, man. Um, just on the entire block, it was kind of like a fog. It was difficult looking at my house in that moment to know that the place where I lived for maybe 30 years, about 30 years of my life, is now full of smoke. There are people busting out windows and, and rushing in trying to save whatever may be salvageable in the house, including trying to save my dog. Honestly, in the moment, we didn't even know how to feel for ourselves. We just honestly walked up to the house and we were in total shock and disbelief that this was happening. There were days where we had to stay in a hotel. There were days where we had to stay with family. In the moment, we were uncertain. In the moment, we didn't know what our next steps were. We've never been in a situation like this. Um, we never knew um, that we would have to figure out and learn how to deal with a situation like this. Hearing people say, oh, everything is gonna be fine and you're gonna have a brand new house in a few months and things are gonna be better and all of that kind of didn't sound like comfort. It didn't sound good. It didn't, it didn't do much for us. It made me feel as if well, God, if anything like this or things like this can happen, then, especially while I'm serving, <laughs> then what's, what's, what's really good? Like, what's up? Like, what's happening? <laughs> if things like this can happen while I'm in your house serving you, then what, what, what's really going on? Um, it brings a whole lot of doubt in what you do and what you profess and what you believe. Um, and honestly, in the moment, I had to remember um, that God gave me authority to uh, really dispel every single uh, thought and, 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 and anything that the enemy was going to try to allow me to feel emotionally. Because 
One thing that the Bible says is, is that we can't allow ourselves to become attached to things because heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word and who he is, it always, at the end of the day, it will stand forever. So I had to remember, I had to recall, I had to speak the word of God. Even in the week of this happening, my mother would not allow me to forsake my assignment and not show up for service and not show up for worship and not show up to church. We had to run to a store and find clothes because all of the clothes that was in the house, they weren't, you know, we weren't able to wear them. So we had to go find clothes within the week and just make our way to church. And I believe that even in the darkest and even in the most difficult moments of our lives when we persevere and say that I'm not going to let certain things deter me from my assignment. Um, in that time, the song that I uh, uh, wrote so many uh, months before, even in the time that I wrote it, I didn't think that it was really applicable to me. I thought, you know, it was just another song. I thought it was a choir song. I thought it was, you know, something I could just do something with or whatever, and it'll be cool. Um, I woke up uh, from my sleep one, one day, and I could hear the choir singing, God is faithful, God is faithful, loud in my ear. And it jolted me out of my sleep. I had to jump up and write these words down and figure out what did it all mean? What is what 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 is that mean for me? Not knowing that at some point I would come to this moment where I kind of had to find purpose in those words for me. Sometimes we go through things that make us really have to um, search and figure out our own relationship and understanding of God. So. Knowing that he was faithful in a song is different than knowing that he's faithful in my life. So I had to come to that understanding that God is more than faithful. He's more than able. He's more than capable of stepping in right when I needed him most. And today we stand almost two years into you know, looking at a really remade, re newly renovated house. It, 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 it looks better than it looked when we were in it for the 30 years. And the good thing about being in this space today is, is that if you can just live through the difficult times and the difficult moments, somewhere in there, God will reveal to you the reason why you had to go through the difficult times and the hard moments. And one thing that always continues to stick in my mind is, is that if we remember that the race is not given to the swift, but to the ones who endure to the end, there's so much good that is to follow our hard times and our difficult circumstances. There are so many dealing with COVID-19 uh, and so many dealing with uh, the loss of family members, so many dealing with um, job loss, uh, so many friends of mine, musicians, who are dealing with trying to find work. But the good thing is, if we stay the course and stay to the end, we will see the manifested work of the Lord. He promised that he would never leave nor forsake us. And that is something that I will stand firm on for the rest of my life. I'm Lenny Smith, and this is my testimony.